Hello, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the American Zennial. I'm your host, Mike. Well, today I um, saw something and I'm like, I got to get it. It's pretty new. It's been out for like a week or two, but I finally got it. What is it, you ask? Arby's. And I'll give you a hint. Uh, it rhymes with domeless dings. Boneless wings. Uh, it is the hot honey flavor. Boneless wings. And it comes with crinkle, crinkle cut fries. It was six bucks for a nine piece. It was five dollars for a six piece. And I'm like, one more dollar gets me three more pieces. Yeah. And my beverage is Coke. And it's so good. I'm trying to back off a pop soda, whatever you call it in your region. I call it pop. Damn, Pepsi's good. I carry around baby wipes everywhere they go, pretty much. I use them a lot at work. And now, I use them in my car. Keep your hands clean. <coughs> All these uh, germs going around this time of the year. And there's a new variant of you-know-what out. I don't even want to repeat it try to keep clean even though I've already been vaccinated and had it but who the hell knows about anything anymore anyways I'm done talking about that aggravating subject let's talk about food so we're gonna test out these wings you get ranch sauce with them cool maybe I'll need it maybe I won't I'm not really a sauce dipper if the wings are good, no, because why would I? I already have sauce. They already have hot honey sauce on them. Look at these fries, baby. And I, I've had these already. I've never reviewed them. Tell you what, man, Arby's crinkle cut fries are good. I have a, one of my best friends, Cameron. He loves crinkle cut fries. He, he even would pick them, he said, over curly fries. And um, it caused a lot of, a lot of uh, drama between my friends and I. Because some people would say, you know, you're stupid for saying that. We'd like curly fries. And, and I'll admit, I probably, uh, you know, joined in because I love curly fries. But no matter what people like, you may like curly he may like crinkle. Just respect each other. You don't have to call names because he likes crinkle cut fries. It's not it's not really respecting your friend. So just accept him for whatever he likes. It's okay. Okay, here's hot honey, boneless wings. <sighs> Look at that. Looks so good, doesn't it? Very crispy on the outside. This one's not completely covered, but that's okay. Not all of them have to be smothered and covered. Really? For real? Damn, that was good. Wow. My friend said he had these yesterday and they were good. And today he's going to go back to try the buffalo. Those are the flavors. They're buffalo and hot honey. Ooh, that's a real crispy one. <clears throat> that was like all breading. And I liked it. You know what? An order of nine is a lot. To be honest... A six piece is really enough with the fries. It is. This was, but this would be a nice snack 
for six dollars to actually share between two people believe it or not i don't think i'll eat it all mm -mm. Mm. i like these Hmm. I want to try the ranch now with a crinkle cup, right? This is good today. Wow. <clears throat> the total was eight. 66 it would have only been six bucks if i would just got this and this but the pot was two dollars and 49 cents and the 17 cent tax pop's expensive now 250 that's why i like mcdonald's 99 cents for one this big i could have just drove through mcdonald's but the line was too long because honestly that was my original plan all i wanted to get I really just wanted some McDonald's fries and a large pop. But the line was so long, I went home. On my way home, I passed Arby's, and I'm like, let me go there. And then I saw this, and I said, oh, that'd be a nice snack. And I should have got the smaller one, but for a dollar more, I had to do this. Which I'm not opposed to having more, because I'm going to eat one more, and I'm going to have five later. Maybe for dinner, I'll just heat it up in my air fryer. Or honestly, maybe just cold right out of the fridge and put them on some sliders. I got Hawaiian sliders at home and I could have like little chicken sandwiches. I don't know why they give you ranch. Am I supposed to do this with it? Mmm. Wow. If you mix the ranch with the honey hot, holy mackerel, wow. Well, I rank this, honestly, for like a fast food on the go, for the value. nine out of ten <clears throat> the only reason i don't give it a 10 is <sighs> i wish the pop was cheaper 250 for a fountain pop this size to me seems like a lot of money for something that in my opinion has negative nutritional value soda is just not good for you I love it, no matter any way you cut it. Dark pops, in particular, are supposed to be worse for you than actual, like, Sprite and 7-Up. Did you know that? Well, it's true. Look it up. Dark pop is not good for you at all, but damn, it's good. And I love it. I'm not going to lie. I was only going to stop on the last one. It's so good I got to have one more. I should have got the smaller one. I think it's a five or six piece. But for only a dollar more, I got a snack later. Also, you know, maybe I'll make a video on reheating these in the air fryer because I got a new air fryer. I got a GE oven. I've been telling everybody about it. It has an air fryer built into it. It's pretty awesome. I think I did a video cooking something in it, actually. I did. Air fryer something. Did I do pizza? 
I think I did pizza, but I, I did do a video showing it off. Like it's pretty much the highlight of my life right now is my air fryer GE oven. I mean, it's a legit oven. Just one of those settings has air fryer. And you can tell it's different from regular oven because on the inside of it, pardon me, because on the inside of it, it has a, a giant fan in the back of it, like bigger than my head. And uh, I was talking to guys and I said, well, isn't that the same as a convection oven? And it's not, they said, <clears throat> because air fryer oven has like these huge bigger fans and something to do with the heating, but they're not, they're different the way they heat the food and everything and work. taking this home to enjoy later. Another question I have for some people. You feel free to answer in the comments or, you know, say I can't eat all these fries, like just half of them. Can I put them in the fridge and then put them in my air fryer later? Because reheating french fries is disgusting. Like, I was talking about this with my buddy Ben one time. And pretend I'm full now. Like, I'll just throw these out any other time. And it, I feel like it's a sin to waste food. But if they're going to be nasty, what am I going to do? You know what I mean? Like, we said the same. It's like, yeah, they're going to be nasty. It's just gross. But in this instance, I'm going to save them for an experiment for later and I'll do a reheating video so I'll call that one like episode two you know well it was a good lunch with you guys I'm full I didn't even eat a lot but I'm full But I'm drinking a lot of pop. I drink a lot of water today. Oh, I don't know why. Maybe from work, just being outside and moving so much. I'm like dehydrated. It's not like I did anything to be dehydrated about. No alcohol, nothing like that. Anyways, um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please. Uh, smash the like button. Now you don't have to do that. You could even dislike. Do whatever you want, man. You only live once. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't let some guy on the internet tell you what to do. But if I were you, I'd probably like the video and comment and subscribe. <sighs> Thank you. Thanks for watching. It was worth uh, $8.66. Stay tuned for the reheating episode, if you know what I mean. And uh, have a good day. Eat well.